Police in charge of the manhunt for Danilo Cavalcante, that escaped prisoner in Pennsylvania, warned people he is now armed and remains extremely dangerous. Cavalcante has been on the run for nearly two weeks. He was spotted last night and stole a rifle from a garage in Chester County. The owner of the home managed to fire a shot at Cavalcante using another firearm. Authorities have now pre-authorized the use of deadly force if he is found and does not surrender. Eyewitness News reporter Morgan Norwood joins us now from Chester County, Pennsylvania. Morgan. And Joe, police say that latest sighting that you just mentioned gave them fresh evidence, right, that they've been able to recover Danilo Cavalcante's shoes, also his sweatshirt. They now have a confined search perimeter, and they believe they're closing in on this now armed and dangerous convicted killer. The manhunt for escaped Pennsylvania killer Danilo Cavalcante growing more urgent as police say the fugitive is now armed with a rifle. We've got this suspect contained in an area. Um, we're putting all of our resources on it. All of our assets uh, are being deployed. Uh, and I know that this is a moment of deep worry and anxiety um, all across Pennsylvania. More than 500 law enforcement officers fanning out across North Chester County. Tactical teams combing the woods, troopers on horseback, scouring the area where police say Cavalcante was last spotted, stealing a rifle from a homeowner's garage who confronted him, even firing a shot from his handgun. The escaped murderer then grabbing the homeowner's 22 caliber rifle before he fled. Police say they arrived in minutes, finding Cavalcante's prison shoes and sweatshirt, which then allowed search dogs to track a fresh scent. The the last description we have is that he had no shirt on. We have uh, no reason to believe that he has other clothing immediately accessible to him. Cavalcante has been on the run for nearly two weeks after escaping the Chester County prison, evading capture despite multiple sightings and slipping through a four square mile containment zone. What we're focused on is apprehending him. We recognize there's going to be ups and downs in these types of uh, situations and we try and stay even keeled. Law enforcement uh, I think has responded well to each and every piece of information that we've got. I'm confident we're going to get this guy. And so, Joe, just to give you um, an idea of just how urgent this manhunt is, schools in that search zone were closed today as the more than 500 officers continue to fan out and comb through that area. Officials, again, are urging area uh, residents in that search zone to lock their cars, lock their vehicles, secure their homes, again, as the search continues through the evening. Joe? Morgan, this slippery escaped prisoner has eluded police now since I think August 31st. He's traveled quite a bit. He now has a gun. How does this change the search strategy? Well, Joe, I think it certainly makes it more complicated, if not dangerous. I mean, we're talking about a convicted killer who police have emphasized is, is desperate at this point. He has this weapon, this long gun, uh, and they say that he's willing and likely willing to use it at this point. So that's why we're seeing the strategy shift a little bit. I think in calling in the more than 500 officers, that's 200 more than what we had yesterday. Now a confined search perimeter. You'll see them out uh, in tactical force and tactical gear. They've got their long guns as well. So this search is uh, turning a little bit more urgent. Um, you know, they often deadly force if possible. So we are seeing the search intensify as it continues through the night.